Hey guys, how are you doing? <laughs> I hope you are okay in this beautiful week. So today we are going to do different activities, yes? So be careful, take into account all the recommendations, all the things that I provide to you, not only here in class, but also in Sistema Uno's platform in Actividad Volable, yes? So today we are going to do different activities and remember as this week is, is going to be our monthly exams week you know that i'm not i i don't want to do it not only like an exam i want to do it like a workshop yes to do it better que más chicos bien bueno me alegra mucho saludarlos mm, hoy bueno esta semana que va a ser una semana muy genial vamos a desarrollar algunas actividades pero como ustedes saben um, entre ellas, eh, ahorita esta semana tenemos la, la, la semana de, de exámenes mensuales Y pues como a mí no me... pues yo no soy mm, como tan partidario de exámenes mensuales como tal Pues vamos a hacer es un taller evaluable, ¿sí? Un taller que va a ser dinámico, muy chévere Va a tener audios, imágenes y todo, va a ser por Google Forms eh, Estén pendientes del link que yo les voy a colocar Y pues durante toda la semana, desde hoy, bueno, desde hoy martes, que sería la, la, la clase en que ustedes lo pueden ver, el martes agosto 11, hasta el martes agosto 18 de 2020, vamos a tener pues habilitado este link para poder mm, crear nuestro examen, eh, desarrollar nuestro examen mensual. ¿Listo? Son diferentes aspectos para preguntar sobre... Mm, listening acerca también de reading y pues algunas cuestiones de grammar yes entonces tenemos algunas algunas pautas para hacerlo y pues durante toda la semana lo vamos a desarrollar listo chicos entonces no se preocupen and de gocense la semana ok chicos vamos go ahead ok be careful and go so in this week we are going to do different, different pages but we are going to do specific points vamos a hacer muchos puntos hay muchas páginas pero vamos a desarrollar puntos específicos ¿sí? como les he contado some of them like try to, to develop um, the same intention so we are going to do specific points that we have to do uh, we have to, to approach the time yes so remember that we have okay today on um, this week we are going to do from the page 50 onto the page 63 as here yes so for example in the page 50 we are going to know about the type of sentences that we have a declarative a declarative sentence states an idea so it is ends with a period like a sentence like a statement como una afirmación una afirma una oración que menciona algo an interrogative sentence asks a question. It ends with a question mark. Just as una, una pregunta. For example, what time does the bus come? Okay. An imperative sentence gives an order or a direction. It usually ends with a period. Ya es una intención que alguien dice. Muy en específico, yes? An exclamatory sentence expresses a strong feeling or volume. It ends with an exclamation point. So that is something that someone tells. Hey, ouch, you stepped on my toe. Yes, that is something that a person said. And the imperative is like an instruction. Yes? Go. So, we're going to do the point number one. Read this paragraph about Grand Central Terminal. What types of sentences are used? Write each sentence where it belongs in the organizer below. Entonces, miren, tenemos acá un, un, un cuadro como entre azul verdoso. And it says something about Grand Central Terminal. Yes. Y tenemos que escribirlo acá. Los tipos de oraciones que se mencionan arriba, aquí. ¿Cuáles son declarativas? ¿Cuáles son interrogativas? ¿Cuáles son de exclamación? ¿Y cuáles son imperativas? Yes. So do it that exercise. That is a simple exercise. When you go, when you finish, you got it. 
and we go to the page 52. So we are going to listen to the following stories, then complete the information on the postcards. Remember that we have the audio recording file below the activity activity available on Sistema Unos platform. So that activity is to listen the all different like I think different like moments of the stories or details or characteristics characteristics of the of the story in a post, like in a letter by in an email. Yes. The idea here, you are going to describe. For each one, you have you have to tell me what is the name of the country that it says, what is the main attraction or the most important action or the most important attraction that the, that countries have has. Yes. Then the age of the Great Pyramid. So here you are going to have different details of which one of the attractions. Yes. And you are going to tell me the specific details of each one of them. When you finish, you go to it and you go to the page 53 and you are going to do just the point number 3. Aquí solamente vamos a hacer el punto 3. Get into purse. Write the number of the postcards from stories from abroad that answers each question. Where can you mm -hmm, see existing wheel file? See a half human stone creature? Find lots of very old bones. See a rock, a rock that looks like a camel. See an ancient buildings. Find natural water fountains. So you are going to have with this. We done. One, two, or three. You are going to select. You are going to write here. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Where, which one of the oh, of the different attractions explains? or shows to us the different uh, like answers of those questions, yes? Entonces de esas preguntas ustedes van a decir si la 1, 2 o 3 de las atracciones que mencionamos acá en el audio que, que escuchamos también ¿cuál de, la, ¿Cuál de las tres atracciones puede ser más referente a cada una de las preguntas que están refiriendo? ¿Listo? Then, when you have this you complete it. So you go to the page 59. So here you are going to complete. You are going to fill in the blanks with the correct the correct preposition. What is the correct preposition between on and in front of in that case? Your clothes and attitude. Mm -hmm. Italians is very important to make friends. So you can you can have this. Your clothes and attitude on Italians is very important in to make friends or your clothes and attitude in front of Italians is very important to make friends. ¿Cuál de estas dos opciones que están entre paréntesis van acorde más para poder crear más sentido a la oración? Yes. That we are going to have this. The language key about the prepositions of place. Describe at the location of objects or people, prepositions or place, of place, such as in, on, behind, between, and under, can be used to tell the position of things in relation to one another. Examples: They live in the south. Do not rest your elbows on the table. There are coffee bars in front of malls and offices. Yes, perfect. So look at this off, on, in. Good. When you have this, not the point four, no, no, just the point three. When you have this, you go to the page 60, and this you are going to, to do just the, for the, the first point. Determine whether each sentence is declarative, interrogative, imperative, or exclamatory. Copy the sentence, adding the correct punctuation mark at the end. So, you have say, uh, five sentences here or five questions, I don't know. You are going to tell me on each one of the lines if the sentence is going to be interrogative, declarative, imperative, or exclamatory. And correct the punctuation. Entonces, aquí en cada una de estas oraciones o preguntas, 
Ustedes me van a decir si es declarativa, interrogativa, imperativa o exclamativa. O de exclamación. ¿Sí? ¿Cuál es? ¿Qué tipo de oración es cada una de estas? Y obviamente, toda la puntuación que les falta, ustedes me la tienen que colocar. ¿Sí? And no more. Because this is the same. Eso es lo mismo de la vez pasada. So, in the page 63, that is the last one, we're going to do just the point number three. So it says, complete the email by writing the simple past from form of the verb shown. So you are going to complete this letter or this online post or this online email that an Ellie sent to her parents, mom and dad. Yes? So you are going to tell me here what is the past simple of which one of the verbs that are in parentheses. Para completar este ese correo que él le mandó a sus padres, mamá y papá, ustedes me van a colocar en cada una de las líneas faltantes qué pa, cuál es la palabra en pasado simple de cada una de estas palabras que están en paréntesis. Yes and no more. Those are the different activities for this week, guys. No more. Remember to be careful of the workshop in Google Forms. And see you in class. Remember that all those activities, we are going to do them in class, just in class. And try to correct and the pronunciation, try to correct the capital letters, punctuation, coherence, cohesion about the different like sense of the complete paragraph. Yes? And no more, guys. Enjoy this week. See you in class. Bye-bye.